Hi, I'm Stacy Higgins from HotelNewsNow.com here at the AHNLA Summer Summit at the Hilton Chicago. Joining me today is Joe McInerney. He's the president and CEO of the Hotel Association. Thanks for joining me today. Stacy, it's my pleasure. Great. Joe, um, can I get an idea from you what the sentiment at the conference has been so far? I know we just started today, but certainly you've had a lot of meetings and interactions with people. The, uh, the sentiment here today uh, is, is very good considering the the environment that we're going through. So people are looking for a, a little bit of a uh, return maybe of some of the business travelers and uh, come in the third quarter, the fourth quarter of this year. Uh, so, um, you know, this year we'll probably finish uh, about 55% uh, occupancy. The rate mm -hmm. will be down. Uh, the, what, the, the only thing that people are complaining about really now is the rate is down. They've adjusted to we're going to be at 55 percent occupancy, but the rate has come down considerably from what it was two years ago. Next year should be a uh, transitional year uh, with uh, being uh, anywhere from 1.2 to 1.4 uh, percent new uh, uh, supply coming into the marketplace. Mm -hmm. uh, rate probably will uh, uh, stay about where it's at because the demand will be about the same as uh, the new supply. Uh, and then when we get into uh, 2011, we're going to be in pretty good shape because with the credit crunch that, that has happened started a couple years ago, there was less product in the, uh, uh, in the pipeline. So when we come out of this, we're going to be able to recapture some of that rate back uh, very quickly. Any advice you have for hoteliers from now until 2011? Because certainly that's, well, that's about 18 months off now. It really depends on where you're at. But we're not going to see people uh, adding wholesale amount of staff. They're going to stay at the, the basic levels. They're going to provide service. They're going to use the electronic media more to attract people. Obviously, government affairs is a, is a main priority for the association. Can you give our viewers an update on Certainly there are, are a few priorities that you're working on. An update on where those things well, are? Well, you know, a number one priority, and it has been for the last few years, is the Employee Free Choice Act. Mm -hmm. They really, at this point, don't have the votes. Okay. Uh, you need 60 votes to take it out of closure uh, so that then the House can vote, and then when you come back, it's only a 51-member uh, uh, vote that you have to have. But they don't have the 60 votes. Now, if they come up with some type of compromise and alternative, of which there is no compromise for us as an industry, as, if, as it is for other industries uh, that are out there that are a part of our, our coalition, the uh, uh, Coalition for a Democratic Workplace, mm -hmm. uh, because the three main issues of the, the legislation, uh, car check legislation, arbitration, and employer fines, there is no... Uh, uh, reason that we would like to make any concessions mm -hmm. on those. None, none of them are acceptable to us. Right. You know, <laughs> and so, so you've, you've, you've got some terrible problems there that really affect us, uh, the economy. And we're getting that message across to the legislators, especially uh, some of the Democrats. There are, there are 14 Democrats that were co-sponsors of this last time that didn't co-sponsor it this time in the Senate. Okay. So that's number two on that, your list. Uh, Travel Promotion Act. Okay. Travel Promotion Act, uh, uh, it is uh, in for hearings this week. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that really is a program that uh, does not cost the government anything. Uh, and what it is is in the uh, visa waiver countries, uh, people that don't pay for a visa uh, pay a $10 fee uh, into a fund that will be then matched by uh, industry either in physical dollars or in kind. Uh, immigration is another uh, mm -hmm. issue for us because we really need to have a decision made on what do you do with the you know, 12 to 16 million undocumented people that are in the United States uh, because we, you know, we need a, a, uh, a, a comprehensive immigration plan that, that covers uh, immigration to the country. What are we going to do about the people that are already here and a verification plan for people that want to work that are in this country to make sure that they're, they're legal? Uh, and we need a temporary workers program. 
mm -hmm. uh, because the H-2B visa program is already at a maximum level. Uh, with a little downturn in the economy, it isn't, sure. it, it isn't as critical as it was before, but when the economy starts to heat up again, we're going to need those workers from someplace else. Well, Joe, it's always a yeah. pleasure speaking to you, and thanks for your time, and enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you, Stacey. Thank Take you. care.